I've got after school spots open Tuesday and Thursday. And lunch today, tomorrow, and three days next week. Great, uh, let's schedule Tuesday. Tuesday after school? Schedule. What about lunch that day? And I don't remember you having to do anything after school Thursday, do you? Not yet. Feed Venus fly trap, but when did it have its last fly? A week ago. Must be starving. Fine, I'll go feed it since you don't want to schedule time with me. Victor knows we know more than he does. He could take one of us hostage and give us a true serum. Okay, not his style. Or he could try something more subtle. Like bugging the school. Josie. The listening devices could be smaller than a speck of dirt. He could be listening to us right now. Maybe he's even using Vaughn as one of his agents. Wouldn't be the first time. Who knows if he can be trusted, Josie? If Marshall and I like each other, he should want to spend time together. But it seems like he's been avoiding me. Did I do something? Am I not pretty enough? You forgot these. Thanks. So, do you want to spend time with me or don't you? I do want to spend time with you. I just don't want to always schedule time with you. It's too much like work. Being with me is like work? It's not what I said. Marshall, what are we to you? I don't know. What are we to you? Maybe we're nothing. Girls are so complicated. Their plants are simple. Ow! My mom drops me at this boarding school, and I'm thinking it's like all the other places I've gone. Students. Teachers, principal, you know, like normal schools. But it's not. Weird stuff happens here. Really weird stuff. And what's this guy doing here? Is his floating sphere the key to the mystery? Something's going on and someone's behind it, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. There is nothing wrong with a Blake Halsey High. He said being with me is like work. So you guys aren't talking anymore? What's the point? He's totally non-committal. Well, at least now you have more time to work on your presentation. I didn't tell you. My Venus flytrap's gone. That's weird. Nitrogen triiodide, my favorite covalent molecule. Was she sitting with a wheeler? She must be new. Who is she? Do you know it'll explode if you touch it with a feather? 
No. No, I didn't. Are you going to eat all that? Thanks. She eats like a pig. <laughs> An exotic beauty, but also a deadly predator, Dionia muscipula devours its insect prey for the nitrogen and other chemical nutrients in their skeletons. The carnivorous plant lures its victim through a sweet nectar that it secretes. Once a fly or insect alights on its pod, it closes. It's not a pod. It's a fleshy leaf. And you are? Diana Music. I'm new. And the leaf has six short, stiff hairs on its surface. It's a very acute distinction, Diana. Thank you, Z. Yeah, it's, uh, take a seat, and uh, I will get your transfer forms later. OK, everyone. Dionia muscipula's pod-like leaf closes on the insect. It forms an airtight seal it's that also airtight to keep out bacteria. Why? Because bacteria can kill the plant. Really? Oh, yeah, really? those microbes can be deadly. OK. Corinne, please, carry on. Thank you. The Venus flytrap is part of the Acanthus family. It's not proven where its name originated. It's named for Venus, the goddess of love. You guys even have bodies. You should just be big brains sitting on a stick. Cheater stops, pops, and fires to first. Jumbie stretching out for the throw. It's gonna be close! Diana Duck! Before you throw next time. Thanks. Maybe it's her perfume. I heard the guy say she smells really nice. I don't think she's anything special. <laughs> really? She's got the hooks in your boyfriend. All our boyfriends. Marshall's not my boyfriend. We need a plan. We need a plan? I'll give you a plan. Do nothing. What kind of a plan is that? It's a good plan. The guys are making idiots of themselves following all over Diana. Great. I refuse to be jealous. Me too. I can't imagine being jealous. We should do something together sometime. You mean us? <laughs> yeah. We could go to a movie. <laughs> sure. Remember, don't be jealous. I'm not. Besides, Diana will find out. Marshall can't commit. I'm not going to be jealous. Looking forward to the movie. Pick you up at 7 p.m. Love, Marshall? <laughs> Diana, you in there? Why has she got the heat on?
like a sauna in here. No clothes? Why do you have flies in your drawer? They're for an experiment. You're wasting your time with Marshall. He can't commit. Maybe not to you. He's very committed to me. I don't know how you did it, but you trapped him somehow. Why do you care? You said we're nothing, remember? How do you know that? Heard you say it. You couldn't have. Marshall and I were alone when I said it. Marshall must have told me. I know him. He'd never do that. I have to get ready. We're going to a movie. Fine. I was leaving anyway. just jealous of her. No, I'm not jealous. I couldn't help noticing that she seems to have captured Marshall's attention, along with all the other males in the school. You have to believe me. She's a man-eating plant. Her room is like a hothouse. It smells like rotting insects. She smells fantastic. Like a flower. Like a rare wild orchid. She's the coolest girl I've ever met. I can't believe she's hot for you. But she's totally into science, too. I offered to tutor her, but she's so up on everything in the curriculum. She eats flies. She showed up right after my Venus flytrap disappeared, and she leaves a mark on everyone she touches. Everyone? Correction. All the guys. Marshall, Lucas, Vaughn, it's, it's like a burn. Interesting. And you say they all have this mark? Yes, so do you believe me? I believe that you believe she is somehow threatening. I would like to examine this mark before we act impulsively. I don't think it's impulsive to try and save Marshall. <sighs> and if she is a Venus flytrap come to life, those flies aren't gonna satisfy her for long. She's gonna need something bigger. Like Marshall. Grin, Josie. Wait. Professor Z, what's up with Corinne and Josie? The question is, what's up with Diana Music? I think the answer may start right here on your arm. Marshall, open up! Where's Marshall? Why? Because Diana's gonna strip the flesh off of his skeleton with her digestive enzymes. Good one. Spending a little time with Diana, Lucas? We're too late, they just left. What's gonna happen next? <clears throat> I don't know. They probably all die. Really? Even the little dog? his neck. Marshall, look out. Diana, stop that. Hey, turn the light off. What 
are you doing here? Marshall, she's a man-eating plant. <laughs> she eats flies, and she's gonna eat you. That's ridiculous. Marshall, she's gonna trap you. Maybe you're the one trying to trap Marshall. Wanting him to spend every minute of his time with you? I need to see a movie, not you two. Hey, can we sit down here? Get outside! Corinne, please. Leave us alone. We're trying to save you! I don't need to be saved. Fine, let those be your last words. Corinne! Wait! Man-eating plant. <laughs> Leave him there. He's a big boy. He can look after himself. She's going to tear the flesh off his skeleton. Remember? I say we let her do at least one of his arms. No, his face. I examined some cells from Vaughn's mark. They're from an anesthetic. The same anesthetic used by DNI Mascipula to stun its insect victims. So you believe me now? Yes. The movie's getting out. Are they in there? Yeah. We can't just attack Diana, can we? We can, with this. I ground up some garbanzo cheese loaf. We had that two weeks ago. I found it in the back of my fridge. Bacteria City. Bacteria will neutralize Diana. Let's go. I don't see them. Maybe she took him somewhere. D don't say it. Diana, where are you taking me? Stage. Come on. Marshall! Are you okay? Where's Diana? There! You've got to be joking. Ha! <gasps> you missed. <gasps> that should leave a bad taste in your mouth. These hickey things kind of sting. Good. Well, I don't see her anywhere. Me neither. Where'd she go? Hmm. Mystery solved, I think. We should probably take this back for further analysis. I don't think so, Professor Z. This is one experiment I'm happy to see finished. Marshall, you all right? Yeah. Thanks to Corinne. All you guys. mad that I was paying so much attention to Diane, are you? I could so not care about that, Lucas. Uh, good, because I want you to know that she brainwashed me. All us guys were under her power. All of you? Yeah. What if I do my presentation on migration? I thought you were doing it on nitrogen. No. No, it makes me think about you know who and how she nearly trapped me. I think I was trapping you too. I didn't mean to. I, I just wanted to spend time with you. I wanted to spend time with you too. How about we try again, but this time not in such a scheduled way? Okay. When? Tomorrow. What time? 
How about we play it by ear? Cool. So I guess we owe Diana Music a big fat thank you. Not too bad she's a history. <laughs> <laughs> Venus flytrap. 